Hey love bugs, welcome to my channel. Let's discuss with author L.A. Logan. On today, I am going, <clears throat> excuse me, I am on my way to the hospital and I thought I would take you along with me and also share with you the weather uh, where I live. So, are you ready to get into it? I know I am. Let's discuss. So it is Thursday, February 11th, I think, or 10th. I don't know. I, let me see. Sunday's the 14th, so Saturday will be the 13th. So it's the 11th. No. Sunday's the 14th. Saturday's the 13th. Friday would be the 12th. So yeah, it's Thursday, February 11th. That's terrible. And, um, I am on my way to the hospital to um, pick up my sister. Um, I think I shared with you that my sister was having surgery and that um, um, I was take, taking her for her surgery and was there pretty much. I was up from like four o'clock in the morning, um, took a little bit of a nap and basically was up till like 10 o'clock that night. Um, but everything went well with her surgery and um, she is being discharged today and she's being discharged on a day that we've had some winter weather. Um, let me show you what I'm driving in. So I don't know how well you can see it, but we basically had um, an icing, or I don't really wanna call it an ice storm because it really didn't, it wasn't as bad as they had predicted in the forecast. But um, the roads are basically a sheet of ice and um, the temperature right now is 27 degrees and I don't think it's gonna get any higher than that. Um, so yeah, this is what I'm driving in and it kind of reminds me of back home when I used to have to drive into work in this. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to show you what I'm driving in. So let me um, turn you back around. So basically with my job, um, anybody that does not work from home that was actually still going physically going into the building, they had a two hour delay in um, coming into work. One of my buildings, we actually just had to, one of my bu buildings that we had to close it because um, there wasn't gonna be enough staff. I think there's like one person that was gonna be able to come in and it was just like, we just, we're just gonna close that building. Um, so yeah, we had a delay opening across the state basically um, with, with my job. So I actually took the day off because I knew that I had to pick my sister up and, you know, probably need to run around and get some things for her. Um, oh, the main roads are pretty good. They must have treated these roads. One bad thing about where I live they we don't we we barely get this type of weather so they don't really treat the roads the only roads they treat are like the main roads that lead to the hospitals um where i am from they treated all roads and so that's why here they close everything or they have a delayed opening because they don't treat all of the roads here um so yeah Excuse me, but as I was saying, I um, took the day off because um, I knew I was going to have to help my, with my sister. And if it was anything like it was um, the day of her surgery, it was just a lot. You know, I tried to log in here and there when I could, but for the most part, yeah, I just took the day off. And um, it's supposed to, I think, snow, snow here. I think on Sunday evening it's either snow or ice which is Valentine's Day and then um, the weather is supposed to be bad on my birthday which is Tuesday on the 16th so I was like this is really what's happening to me um, I just find it kind of funny because I actually have someone 
to spend Valentine's Day and my birthday with someone that I enjoy their company not my boyfriend not yet anyway I'll just say that um, but it's going fairly nicely so um, yeah so now with um, the weather being the way that it is I will not I probably will not leave my house because <laughs> um, I will not be stuck in a car um, you know I, I just don't want to get stuck in this so anyway that's what's going on here um, I really don't have a whole lot to talk about um, I just wanted to jump on because I hadn't done a hung out with you guys in a little bit and um, I'm kind of I've got some videos that I need to upload um, I'm just behind in that just had a lot going on and um, there has been a lot going on in the news of course the whole impeachment trial which I have not been watching um, because I know I, let me take that back I've watched bits and pieces news clips and that sort of thing um, just because I mean I know how I feel about it and what I think should happen um, <clears throat> so what's the point in me um, you know getting myself more worked up by watching it I, I don't know but I am gonna um, don't get me wrong I am going to pay attention to it and kind of follow it a little bit but I'm not gonna watch it day in and day out watching negativity day in and day out wears on you it changes your whole attitude how you feel all of that and I'm just not trying to deal I'm trying to limit my exposure how about that that's the best way I can put it I am trying to limit my exposure to negativity. So, um, oh, also, um, the Gorilla Glue situation. I kept hearing about it, and I thought it was a prank. Like, I didn't think it was, um, like a for real thing. But apparently, it really was a for real thing. Um, where the lady used um, Gorilla Glue um, on her hair instead of got to be or got to be hair glue. And um, her hair actually like was glued together. Let me text my sister to let her know that I'm here. Do I need to come in or are they going to bring her down? Yeah. Um, no, but it's a for real thing. She used Gorilla Glue and it actually glued her hair together. And her hair was like that for like over a month before she realized she needed to get some help to, to try to figure out how to get it unglued. So the Gorilla Glue company gave her all these, gave her some suggestions and they didn't really work and they were burning her scalp. So um, she ended up cutting off her ponytail and the top parts were still stuck together. And so she ended up being contacted by a plastic surgeon in California who said that he had the ability to fix it for her and he was going to do it for free. Y'all, it's a $12,000 procedure to fix that. And he was like, I'm sure he was like, oh, this is worth some good advertising for me. So, um, he, he was able to do it. Um, her hair looked fine. It looked healthy. Um, she was going to have to come back the next day for him to check it. Okay, my sister says she's on her way down. Um, okay. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm curious to see 
if her hair and you know every how her hair does like if it's damaged in any way now another guy didn't believe the whole gorilla glue thing so he did it but he glued a cup to his lip his his thought was that he was going to glue it on there like really quick and then flip it off well that didn't happen he ended up having to go to the er and they did like a peel of his lip and um, the doctor told him that if it didn't heal up right, he may lose part of his lip. And my thing is, why? I just think, I mean, I get some of the challenges and pranks, but some of them go entirely too far. You know, I saw recently where, um, I think he was 18 or 19 year old YouTuber who was used to doing pranks on people. He and his friend were doing a prank robbery um on somebody and they shot and killed him they didn't know it was a prank and it's just like you know in the day and time that we live in now where everybody is conceal and carry you just don't want to be you want to be mindful of the kind of pranks in this in the stuff that you do you know so anyway um that's a thing that i um saw in the news um i don't want to miss my sister i'm trying to do double duty here really fast because i'm pretty sure she's not gonna want to be recorded i wouldn't want to be recorded fresh out of the hospital um let me see um, so the other thing that's going on in the news is, um, one of the founding members of the Supremes passed away. Um, and what was crazy is, um, when they said that Mary Wilson passed away, I was like, I thought she already passed away a few years ago. And, um, I had to think about it for a minute and I was thinking about Nancy Wilson so they're two different people obviously but I was thinking I thought Mary e. Wilson had already passed away but yeah she had passed away um I don't think they said what she passed away from but yeah she was one of the founding members of the Supremes and I didn't realize that they had records they had uh records that still haven't been broken they were such a top-selling female group, and I was really surprised by that because I thought maybe Destiny Child or, uh, well, I don't really know of any other female groups. I'm so out of touch. But anyway, she passed away, so prayers to her family. Um, okay, guys, let me see. There. Okay, she's over here. Okay, I'll be back, guys. she wanted Jason's Deli um, so that's what she got um, I also got my mom some Jason's Deli so my mom is helping take care of my sister as well um, I could imagine eating hospital food for a few days you would like to have something else so <clears throat> excuse me I am headed home 
and I think I'm gonna go ahead and close this vlog out it's gonna be short um, if I do do anything else or if I decide to add another day then I'll do that um, otherwise I'm closing it out now <laughs> so if you're new to the channel welcome I'm so happy to have you um, if you're not new welcome back how have you been uh, I ask that you click the like button by clicking the like button that does something with YouTube's algorithms and let them know that you're enjoying the content of the video and it allows our channel to be presented to other YouTube watchers um, I ask that you hit the subscribe button. If you're not already a part of the family, what are you waiting for? We would love to have you. Um, by clicking the subscribe button and the bell, it will notify you and let you know when new content has been uploaded to the channel. And then I ask that you share, 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 share. Um, by sharing the video, that's gonna allow us to grow the channel. And as I've said before, I wanna grow the channel organically. I don't wanna buy subscribers or really change our platform up to try to um, get subscribers not saying that I'll never do it but just right now that's not where I'm at um, I enjoy our discussions taking you along with me on my vlogs and um, just the different subjects that we talk about which um, yeah I enjoy that so click the share or yeah click the share button and share the the, the uh, video so people will join our channel um, I will say that I don't get discouraged by the low views or the fact that our subscriptions are low I trust and believe that it's going to grow and grow in due season and when it's time so as long as you hang out with me I'm going to continue to hang out with you so before I get out of here I do want to leave you with this Remember, the plans for your life have already been designed. It's just up to you to trust the planner. Have a good one, everybody.